What is up, mob people? I'm going to talk about a serious issue that affects young boys, young men, older men, just men in general. And it is the topic of gynecomastia, commonly known as man boobs. Now, what gynecomastia is, from what I've gathered, is <clears throat> basically estrogen in the body of a man that influences his physiology to the point where it takes on some feminine traits. Uh, this can happen for many reasons. But the bottom line is, whenever there's a rise in estrogen, it usually leads to the development of breast tissue in men. Now, there are estrogen-like compounds in you know, some of the foods we eat, and in the air, and just in all over in our environment. And some people are more susceptible to it. And... If there's a surge in testosterone, like right around puberty for guys, the body, in order to establish homeostasis and balance, has to raise the estrogen a little bit to keep that balance. And that rise in estrogen can also lead to uh, the development of breast tissue in men. <clears throat> Anabolic steroid use slash abuse, same thing. It causes a surge in testosterone, which consequently leads to a surge in estrogen, which consequently leads to the development of breast tissue. So, like I said, um, it's really about uh, a rise in estrogen in the body of a man that causes the development of breast tissue. Now you can Google gynecomastia. You can look up information pertaining to it, but that is just what I've gathered. <clears throat> now, me, myself, I've had gynecomastia since I was about 10 years old. Um, it started off as a lump in one side that was very, very tender and sensitive to touch. Uh, and then another lump formed on the other side, which was also equally as sensitive and ten tender to touch. Um, and throughout my adolescence and my, my uh, teen years, and through college, I still struggled with it. The lump was there. Uh, I sought counsel from a few doctors. And um, <clears throat> they have told me that I, in fact, have had uh, breast tissue there underneath the nipple. Uh, which really makes the nipple appear puffy. Uh, and... The, the doctors, basically, the general consensus of the doctors was that the only way to deal with it adequately is through surgery. Now, because it's considered quote-unquote cosmetic, um, health insurance providers are less apt to help cover it. Actually, they pretty much won't do it. And I know that there's a lot of boys out there and a lot of men that suffer from this. Like yours truly. Now I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I'm being totally honest. I'm not just the man boob <laughs> president. I'm also a client. See, for me... It's a little bit of puffiness in my nipples. Here's my advice. <clears throat> uh, 
if you suffer from puffy nipples, a.k.a. man boobs, a.k.a. gynecomastia, I would strongly advise you to first lose a little bit of weight. Because in some, in a very few instances, it could just be what is known as pseudo-gynecomastia, which is just fat in the chest. Um, and I would also advise checking with your doctor. If your doctor says that there is some breast tissue there, um, then surgery might be your best option. I'm not necessarily trying to promote any idea. I'm just trying to bring something to light. I'm just trying to, uh, bring something to light and hopefully provide some insight as well as some comfort for boys and men who do suffer from this. Um, uh, I know that some medications cause it. Some medications make it worse, as it did with me. Um, won't get into the uh, type of medications, but certain medications can exacerbate the condition even more. Um, gaining weight, fat can exacerbate the condition even more. Uh, but bottom line is this. If you feel you have gynecomastia as a boy, young man, or older man, I'd advise you to do some research on it first um, to see what it's all about. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, I would also advise you to lose a little bit of weight to ensure that it's not just pseudo-gynecomastia. And I would also advise you to see your health care provider, your doctor, uh, just to confirm it. Um, some cases are more severe than others. Uh, for some, it, it develops into actual breasts. Uh, for others, it might just be a little puffiness in the nipple. But regardless... Do your research. Lose a little bit of weight. Talk to your doctor. And um, I know it's not an easy thing to deal with. Uh, I have a tendency to wear dark clothes. Been there, done that. Would uh, touch my nipples incessantly. Been there, done that. Use ice cubes <laughs> just so that the nipples tighten up. Been there, done that, you know. Wear baggy clothing. <laughs> Been there, done that. But just do those three things. Other than that, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if surgery is your last, if surgery is your option, then I'm not going to condemn nor condone you for it. Uh, because I know it's a very serious thing. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about mine, per se, but for you, I wish you the best of luck. Good luck on your fitness goals and life goals. And uh, mob. <laughs>